Hey everybody, what is the story? So today I thought we'd do something different. I discovered this channel recently called Cut. And what they do is they have a lot of these videos where it's friends and family exposing their DMs. It's absolutely hilarious. So I thought I'd bring you guys along with me and show you what it's all about. So the video we're gonna watch today is called Mom Critiques Her Son's Flirting. Just by the thumbnail alone, this looks like an all day banger. So I cannot wait to see it. And uh, yeah, let's just hop into it. Let's see what it is. What if your mom got access to your private DMs? <laughs> We asked moms to guess which DM their son sent to a total stranger on the internet. Oh, okay, okay. S starting off, okay. Jesus Christ, man. Can you imagine your mom seeing all your private DMs that you've sent? I mean, like, if you're to include, like, dating apps like Tinder and all that as well, man. Jesus Christ. Nobody wants to be in that state, so, uh... I mean, this guy doesn't look like he sent the most dodgiest of texts, I'm not gonna lie. He looks like fairly straightforward, lad. So, I'm hoping it goes through with that. And we're gonna see what it's all about. But, I mean, on screen right now, it says, Girl, you are thick, thick, thicky. What even is that? Girl, you are thick, thick, thicky. I hope the hell you didn't say that. I'd come through the phone and choke you. Welcome to Thirst Trapped. I mean, I gotta appreciate the name as well. Thirst Trapped, it is a good one, but yeah, I, as you can see here, you know, the, the style of video is hilarious. Uh, but yeah, I, I personally couldn't do it, man. Having my mom be there watching the DMs that I send, man. I mean, I don't know, why do these guys even sign up for that? You're, you're signing up to expose yourself realistically. I mean, they must get paid a bit for it, but Jesus Christ, man. It's a da dangerous game to be playing. My name is Craig. My name is Melody, and he's my oldest child. Craig, give me a little rundown on your love life. I'm coming out of a, a long, committed relationship, so I'm not really trying to look for another real deep, heavy, long-term relationship. I'm just enjoying myself. No, I, I like this guy. I mean, straight off the bat, he seems like a, a normal guy. He's trying to do his own thing, you know? He's not he's not crazy in the dating scene. If it was some thirsty guy coming in here being like, oh, you know, I date every weekend, we go out to the nightclub and all that, it'd be a different story. But this guy, Looks fairly well settled, looks well kept. Nice monotone voice as well, so I mean, I'll be surprised if anything crazy comes out here. Today, we've gathered a handful of your DMs, and your mom is gonna have to guess which one is yours. Melody, do you know what it means to slide into a DM? I have no idea. What does slide into a DM mean? People have the ability to direct message you, so the idea of sliding is basically somebody like reaching out to somebody being like, hey, I'm interested in you. It sounds really easy. <laughs> I hope this is as good as it's looking like. I mean, the mom clearly has no idea about social media and how things work. And to be fair, most moms wouldn't. Uh, if any dodgy texts come up here, man, I, I, I'd say she's going to be absolutely raging. So please, come on. I know I said he looked like a good guy, but I want to see at least one dodgy one in here. Come on, let's go. Okay, you think you'd be good at it? So uh, I, I don't think I would be good at it, but I think you would be good at it. No, she'd be wrong. Really? I'm, I'm really bad at it. Wow. You're about to find out. I could commit crimes with those eyes. Oh, I could commit crime with those eyes. I don't even know how to, how do you take that one? What does that even mean? Am I just stupid? Don't answer that question. Don't answer that. That sounds so much like you <laughs> because you love beautiful faces and eyes and teeth and you would be saying something cheesy like that. Is that cheesy? Yeah, to me it is. Okay, all right. Girl, you are thick. Thick, thicky. I hope the hell you didn't say that. <laughs> thick, thick, thicky. That is the best. Do girls actually like that when you go up to me and you're like, hey, yeah, you're a thicky, thick. Like, well, what are they supposed to respond? Like, thanks. If he came out with that pickup line, I, I am actually going to be delighted because that is hilarious. That is so good. Thick, thick, thicky. I'll have to add that one to the book now. That's a good one. That. I'd come through the phone and choke you. Do you know what thick means? It sounds like you're heavy. So thick with multiple C's. <laughs> I love the way he looks at the camera. He's like, with multiple C's. That a girl is curvy. Oh, you would like that then. Why, why would you say that? Because your ex-wife was a little thicker. <laughs> Man's getting roasted. The, the mother's coming in here saying, your ex-missus was a bit on the heavier side and he doesn't look too happy. He doesn't look too happy at all with that now. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. What's the next one? <laughs> <laughs> you should mix up your dating life and you should date someone that is probably way too old for you. That sounds like something you would say. Does your son like younger women? He does like younger women. 25 to 35. You think I would date a 25 year old? Why not? I'm 37. That's, That's more than a decade. Oh, please. I, we wouldn't know any of the same cartoons. That'd be fucking weird as shit. No. What's your range? Like 29 to 37. 
How's that worked for you so far? It hasn't worked at all. Okay, well maybe you need the 27 year old. Man, this lad's ma's going in hardcore. She is like roast, 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 man. She's putting on a Sunday roast here. It's not even Sunday. I know this sounds cr crazy, but should we get married? Absolutely not. That is not yours because the last year has been brutal. You don't think I'd get married again? Not for a while. I hope you will get married because you're a great guy. Ah, uh, that's nice. That's very nice. My ma wouldn't say something like that about me. She'd say I'm a little bollocks. I mean, I gotta give the man props there. Even though she's roasting, you know, she's she's sprinkling some nice comments in there, you know? Like you're a great guy. Hi. All right, Melody, out of those four, which one do you think Craig wrote? Girl, you are thick, thick, thicky. <laughs> So I, I want to see here. What do we have? Okay, one of these he's done. What the fuck was that noise? Bro, is that the ice cream van? Do you have any 99s there, lad? Any loop to loops going? Delay. Yeah, sorry, lads. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, wasn't expecting the ice cream, man. Girl, you are thick, thick, thicky. Man, if he said that, I'm going to be so happy because that's such a fucking hilarious line. That's a banger. Even though it's terrible, it's hilarious. You should mix up your dating life and date someone who's probably way too old for you. Yeah, that's just a weird line, man. I'm getting not, not pedo vibes off it necessarily, but like, it's just, you should date someone who's way too old for you. Like, like in, in, what, in what way is that ever going to work? You know what I mean? You should date someone who's way too old for you. Like, it's weird. Anyways, and then I know that sounds crazy, but we should get married. Yeah, that's a terrible line as well. That's a shit line. I'm gonna go back to my original statement and say he looks like a simple enough guy. So, my guess here is gonna be I could commit crimes with those eyes. I think that's something he said. I think he's uh, one of these romantic fellas. That's the line he said, hoping it would work, and obviously it failed. So we're gonna say you now. Incorrect. Oh, okay. Craig's was, I would commit crimes yeah! for those eyes. Go on, I told you, boys, I told you. He's a feckin' hell. He's, what's, what are they called? He's, he's a hopeless romantic, that's the one. He sent that line in thinking he was feckin' Leonardo DiCaprio or something. Oh my gosh. I, mean, I didn't say these were all gonna be winners. <laughs> well, so far, zero for zero. Again. <laughs> hey, I have a question for you. Did you try touch my drum set? Oh my God. That is amazing. So for anybody who doesn't know, that's a quote from the movie Step Brothers. Uh, one of the best movies of all time, man. Did you touch my drum set? Man, that is a class pickup line. If any feckin' women responds to that in the right way, man, they're, they're keepers, they're keepers. Nope. That's from a movie. What movie is it from? The two brothers that move in. Step Brothers. Yeah. Melody, what do you think about this as a pickup line? I think it sounds silly. I will always work my ass off to maintain this sweet dad bod. Work my ass off to maintain this sweet dad bod. I mean, to be fair, they do say that dad bods are actually very attractive. I I've seen a lot of these shit posts on the internet, man, of like, you know, what are the best body types? And it's like a lad with a six pack and like a big chest. And then it's like a lad with like, with like, you know, Dad bod, you know, a bit of hair going on, bit a bit of a beer belly, and as a, a fat lad as the third picture, and the majority of people pick the guy with slightly bit of beer belly action. You know what I mean? So, don't know. I mean, some people find it attractive. I don't know. Yeah, it's short like for body. body? It, it's short, yeah, short for body. Guys with like guts and beards are like really hot right now. Okay, well, there you go. Yeah, you're you've already won that one. Hey, let's hang. If you bring BYOB, I can bring this D. <laughs> bring this D. Oh my god, that's a banger. That's a terrible line, just to clarify. That is an absolutely terrible line, but it's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> if you bring your own beer, I can bring this D. Bring this D. What does that mean? I know what BYOB, but this D. Uh, this it means drunk? No, it means <laughs> dick. <laughs> he even said it like the way I do. Dick. Dick. You gotta say it like dick. Well, there you go. Wow. You've got the alcohol in the body part. Have you been casually hooking up with anybody? I wouldn't say it's casual. Did you bring the D? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What the hell did she say? Yo, go back, go back. What'd she say? Did you bring the D? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody come get their mother, bro. Did you bring the D? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Craig, your mother asked you if you brought the D? Yeah, yeah I heard. <laughs> What's the next one? <laughs> <laughs> Me, Tarzan, you, Jane. Somebody really wrote this and sent it to somebody? That, that's a shit line. Me, Tarzan, you, Jane. Like. 
me Bill, you Ben, me, me Barbie, you Ken. I mean, you sound like a caveman saying the fucking thing. Absolutely shite, man. I don't think Craig said that. Which one do you think Craig wrote? Hey. The right, let's have a look. So, hey, I have a question for you. Did you touch my drum set? That's a brilliant line. He already knew the movie Step Brothers. So did the mom, to be fair. So I think that could be one that he said. I will always work my ass off to maintain the sweet dad bod. That's, I think he could have said that as well. The top two lines are brilliant. Let's hang if you bring this B-Boy. No, no, no. There's no way he said. There's no way he said I can bring this tea. No way. No way, Jose. It's a banger of a line, but not this guy. Never. Me, Tarzan, you, Jane. Terrible line. This, this lad looks like somewhat of an intellectual, so I'm not even going to say that he said that. Please be the drum set. I love Step Brothers. Please be the drum set. The drum set one. Melody, you are correct. Yeah! We got it! Let's go! The mom got it as well! What an absolute legendary quote from Step Brothers. If you haven't seen that movie, guys, check it out. Step Brothers is an all-day banger. If the person gets it, then that's like a that's a big check mark. For and me. how many girls have it's it's what I was saying. It, it, it's exactly what I was saying. They're literally a keeper. If they get that quote, it means they've seen that movie and they like it. And how me. many girls have gotten it? That hasn't <laughs> worked anywhere, but I find it absolutely hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you guys, we actually have one final surprise round. We actually got access to your mom's flirty messages. Oh, let's go. No way. Wait, listen, this is what everybody was asking for. We finally get the mother's, the mother's messages in here. Man, she, I guarantee she sent something dodgy here. This is going to be class. Let's go. I'm actually delighted. Messages. And Craig, for this final round, you're going to have to guess which one of these your mom has sent. Okay. I need you to rail me. If she sent that, if she sent that, man, and they got it on video, this is the best video on YouTube right now, by a mile, by a country mile. Um, no. I like your shoes. Yeah, I mean, look, that's basic. I like your shoes. Listen, that's something a man would say. I like your shoes, you know, nothing too complicated, nothing too sexual. Just, I like the shoes. I like your shoes. I mean, but I don't know. I think that's too basic. I, I think she's more comedic than that. I don't think that's the one. No, because no, because my dad, <laughs> my dad has bought the same pair of like leather shoes for my entire life. You make my church bells ring. I what is that line? You make my church bells ring. I, I don't even know how to take that one. I'm not going to lie. I don't even know if she's a church woman. I don't think she is. If she's asked him, did you bring the D earlier on? I mean, that doesn't sound like a very church-like kind of conversation. So I don't think she's a woman of God necessarily, but we'll see. I don't think that you would text him something like that. I miss you cakes. I can see. I miss you cakes. Is that like a, a, a nickname? I, I never heard that before. You saying something like that. Dad, uh, my dad travels quite a bit. You guys have a lot of pet names for each other, so I can see that being one of your pet names. I think I'm gonna go with... So we have four options here. I need you to rail me. I like your shoes. You make my church bells ring. I miss you cakes. They're all... They're all crap. Apart from I need you to rail me. It's not that one. I'm gonna go with I miss you cakes. I think... I think she said that to the... To, to his dad. And, you know, just another nickname. I think that, that that's it. I think I like your shoes is basic enough. Church bells ring, nah, that's... But listen, I need you to rail me. Please, please, YouTube gods. I miss you cakes. Craig, you are correct. Yeah, three for three. Oh my God, let's go. We guessed every single one right, man. To be fair, he got it as well. Uh, they got the first one wrong, but listen, Gara's always right. You know what the crack is, Gara always right. Let's go. Very good. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> How was this experience for you guys? It was fun. I think you just need to be a little more witty. Those weren't very really good. Okay, all right. If I could introduce you to my son, he is a very great dad. He helps his mother with her horses, which he doesn't have to do, but he does. He does a great job at everything he does. So since now I've learned what that means, slide into Craig's DM. You won't be sorry. <laughs> She's trying to sell her son off now after this, after literally roasting him for like, like 70, 80% of this whole video. She's like, ah, he's a great lad though. You know, he helps with the horses, the whole lot. He's a great lad. But to be fair, both of the messages that were sent were for fairly decent. I wish her last one was a bit more saucy. We didn't get the sauce on it, but we got everything right though. That's the main thing, lads. We got everything right. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and make sure to subscribe as well so you don't miss another video. And if you want to see me do more videos like this, make sure to let me know in the comments below. Right, lads, thanks for watching. I'm going to go get an ice cream and I'll see you in the next one. Good luck. Love your house.